all right. That's what I do. Okay. Um, well, um, hello everyone. So uh, with me is John Graham, of course, who's our uh, representative of this area in the uh, Legislative Council, and Clayton Barr, who's our Shadow Minister for the Hunter and also the Member for Cessnock. So this is my uh, second visit to Scone TAFE uh, since it was uh, revealed that the government has plans to privatise this campus. Uh, now, those plans were, of course, revealed when uh, a real estate agent put a listing online. But it appears that this uh, negotiation, this deal has been underway since mid last year. Now that came out yesterday in budget estimates when Jeff Lee, the minister, was grilled by uh, Labor MPs. Uh, budget estimates is where we grill ministers and find out exactly what is happening. And so Scone TAFE campus uh, made up a large proportion of uh, that uh, budget estimates hearing yesterday. But what we found out yesterday is that Racing New South Wales made an uncertain solicited bid for this campus in July last year. They wrote to the minister that was revealed yesterday. Uh, what we then know is that there was a meeting held with Racing New South Wales and the minister in August. Now that appeared in the minister's diary, but when we asked uh, him yesterday as to what was discussed at that meeting with Racing New South Wales, uh, he said he can't remember. Now it just defies uh, any explanation that this minister can't remember what happened in that meeting. He knows full well that Scone TAFE campus and the sale of this campus, the privatisation of this campus was discussed in that meeting. Now that means that there have been secret negotiations going on about the sale of this campus since at least mid last year. Yet it took uh, till January this year when that secret uh, deal was exposed after a real estate agent put an expression of interest uh, online. So what did Michael Johnson know? Michael Johnson is the member for this area. He's made uh, no representation, we know that, to the Minister to try and change this uh, decision to sell this campus. The question is, what did he know? If the Minister knew, uh, if the Department knew, if Racing New South Wales knew, what did Michael Johnson this uh, know about this issue? Now, Scone Campus is much loved. It's uh, an important part of this community. And as I said, this is my second visit to this area to try and save this campus. Um, we know that the Government has uh, secret plans to sell Scone campus, uh, yet the community has not been consulted and of course we're in a situation now where the government is moving ahead with this, the expressions of interest have closed uh, and we have no idea about what TAFE courses will in fact be offered. Now there's some uh, arrangement apparently that TAFE will be able to lease that part of this campus for a year. But make no mistake, this is not about supporting TAFE on this site at all. It is in fact about giving up on public education, vocational education in Scone. Now we believe that the government uh, has run down this site on purpose. We believe that they've had this earmark for sale for some time and of course we know that that, uh, that uh, occurred in earnest in mid last year when there was this secret meeting held with Racing New South Wales. Why on earth went the community consulted? If government knew they were moving down this path mid last year, why on earth were the community not consulted? So these are questions that we want answered, questions the Minister didn't give us a response to yesterday. So we're going to continue to pursue that, uh, but I believe Michael Johnson should tell the community when he first heard about this deal. Was he consulted last year and why did he not tell the community that this was happening? So I'm going to hand over to uh, Clayton and then quickly to John and then happy to take questions. Uh, look, it's, it's always a sad day uh, when you're standing out the front of a TAFE campus that's going to be sold off uh, in yet another, you know, capitalisation of the social wealth. We've invested for decades into TAFE and made sure that there was a place for our students, whatever their interests were, our local public students, to go and pursue their studies. So selling off another TAFE is a sad day. But what's most sad is that the local Member of Parliament here doesn't seem to have been completely honest with his community. And that needs to be called for what it is. A local Member of Parliament has a direct responsibility to their community to fight and look out for their best interests. It shouldn't happen behind closed doors. If there's going to be a monumental decision like this, a really significant decision like this, then the local member of parliament has to have the courage and conviction to have that conversation with his community, not hide behind secret deals. Michael Johnson needs to front up to the people of the Upper Hunter and be accountable for this.